Hello everyone, this is Running on Empty Food Review. It's a big day today. It's it's not just a big day. It is, I mean, this is a, a momentous occasion. This is incredible right here. And I think a lot of people are thinking the exact same thing. This is, I would even go as far as to say a historical day in regards to Pizza Hut. Uh, especially to, to, you know, Pizza Hut lovers, Pizza Hut fans, Pizza Hut fanatics. Uh, there actually have been a few reports in the news, though, that even newborn babies, for, for some odd reason, are actually speaking immediately and are talking about this. Uh, believe it or not, there's one that they don't know how he got a phone or somehow, but he was already set up a social media profile and was just only talking about this new release or perhaps re-release from Pizza Hut. So, I mean, this is groundbreaking stuff, and I want to say that flat out, first and foremost. Pizza Hut has brought back the Pizzone. I'm gonna give a pause for a few seconds just so that you could absorb this information. That's right. That was a translation for any people that only speak in truck engine. Uh, that's what that's what it was there. Uh, but yes, they brought back the Pizzone. And I think some of us remember it, some of us didn't. I, I remember the Pizzone. They had this about 10 years ago, back in the, uh, you know, mid-late 2000s. And uh, it was a big fan favorite amongst a lot of uh, Pizza Hut fans. The funny thing when it came down to the Pizzone was, I mean, back then I always went to Pizza Hut. I went there all the time. I got the, I usually went to the buffet. But I was more of just a, a pizza fan. And despite it being on the menu back then, I find it kind of funny, but I never even tried it. And then, just with my with my good fortune, the one time when I actually did want to try the Pizzone out, they took it off the menu, and I thought it was gone forever, but they brought it back. So, uh, it's actually, this is the first time I'm ever going to be trying this out from Pizza Hut, so it's just going to be very interesting to, uh, to see. Now, I took a few notes down on this, just so, you know, if you're not really familiar with what the Pizzone is... Uh, I've got you covered. So this is, as the name kind of sounds, this is Pizza Hut's take on the calzone. You know, calzone, pizzone. Though some people just say pizzone, and then it, you know, it might not really sound like calzone, but it, it's supposed to sound pizzone. It's actually P apostrophe Z-O-N-E, so that's the actual spelling of it. Uh, now, what it features is a toasted Parmesan crust, and then on the inside are various pizza toppings, and their cheese, and then they give you some marinara sauce on the side for dipping purposes. Now you can get three different pizzones. The biggest one that they're really promoting, and this is the one that I got because I thought just personally I would enjoy it the most, is their pepperoni pizzone. So in it is just pepperoni, cheese, and then on the side some marinara sauce for dipping. It also comes in uh, meaty, which uh, features pepperoni, ham, beef, pork, and sausage. And then they have the Supreme uh, Pizza, in which I kind of, I just, I chuckle a little at the name, because it just has sausage, pepper, and red onion. You'd think to call it Supreme, you know, it'd have a little bit of everything, like a Supreme Pizza, but I guess those three things are good enough. Uh, Price-wise for this, all of them are around the $6 range, uh, normally $5.99 plus tax. So, uh, you know, that's the price, what it comes down to. And uh, I gotta say, at least that's affordable for what it is. But then you have to ask the question, it might be affordable, but is it good? And that's what we're gonna find out. It comes in uh, this box. You know, usually they kind of use this box for, for breadsticks and the like. And uh, let's see what it looks like. So here it is. This is the full Pizzone. Let me just hold the box at a good angle so you can just see it right there. So that's what it looks like, and you can see it comes with the two halves. It's already cut. I want you to bear that in mind, that it is pre-cut, which kind of makes it easy to eat. And then there's the marinara sauce, which, for those of you that already know, I'm a bit disappointed in to begin with. I'm not a fan of the pre-packaged stuff, and I'm going to be interested in seeing what difficulties that may present. Uh, but you can see right there, there's another kind of, you know, side angle anyway. You can definitely see that toasted Parmesan on it, though. There I am, staring at you with it. And uh, now we'll just look at an actual Pizzone half. One thing I like, at least, is that it gives you a good cross-section to begin with, which, uh, that's good. You can see what's in it, and you can see how it's kind of just sealed, you know, in its own thing. 
And uh, that's what it looks like. I'm gonna try it out. I'll let you know what it tastes like, and then I'm just gonna kind of navigate this and uh, just try it with the marinara sauce, let you know my thoughts. And uh, yes, this is my first ever Pizone from Pizza Hut. It's going in. See, that's what it looks like there in the cross section. Take some more bites. I mean, you can see, and this is what I was expecting, honestly. You can see how it kind of opens up and that there are those air pockets in it, so it'll look a little bit bigger than it is. But you can see real close. I mean, you can see the cheese and you can see the pepperoni. So it certainly does have its toppings, uh, you know, loaded in there. Uh, though it can be a bit on the airier side. Now, before I try it out with the marinara sauce, let me just give you an overall assessment. It tastes pretty good for what it is on its own. In so much that you can actually taste this little kind of saltiness that the, the toasted Parmesan here has. And that's just a nice little touch, if you ask me. Uh, likewise, there is a good amount of cheese. Now, I, I don't know how well it'll actually show up on the camera. I'll give you that valued cross-section once again. But either way, you can kind of see, you know, there is that layer of cheese right there that kind of blends in with the dough, but there is definitely a good amount of cheese in there. And the pepperoni, I mean, it's just one layer of, of the pepperoni, but at least there is a sufficient amount. I see in this one video where this guy got one that had no pepperoni in it at all. Uh, I mean, at least there are toppings in there and everything blends in pretty good. Now, here's the one thing. As good as it might taste, it does feel like it is lacking something, that being sauce. Kind of tastes like just ordering a pepperoni pizza from Pizza Hut with no sauce on it at all. It might taste all right, but you kind of want that, that you know, that flavor that the tomato sauce or the marinara sauce or, you know, whatever you want to call it, kind of adds. And that's why, of course, they give you the marinara sauce, uh, prepackaged, uh, dipping tub, you know, cup or whatever you want to call it. I've never been a fan of this, to be honest. I, I thought as soon as they kind of went back to the prepackaged stuff, the quality of it just went downhill. And uh, it's, I don't know, it's just been very difficult to use, honestly. And I'll put that to test right now. You can see, there it is. I mean, you know, right there. And there this is. Let's see, can we... Just trying to dunk it in just like this. You, you barely, you barely coat the outside and that's all that you get. You know, so... We'll see. We'll see if this changes anything. At least you can dip the crust a little bit better right there. Yeah, the marinara sauce is a must-have accompaniment for this. Altogether, it blends in very well, but you need that marinara sauce. Otherwise, it actually, it tastes pretty good for what it is. I do like that you can eat this on the go, you know, it's pretty easy to eat, it's not too messy or anything. My one complaint, and I just say this as a customer, and I think there's a lot of people thinking the same exact thing. Please, when it comes down to that marinara sauce, please just go back to the old stuff. Just go back to when it was in the wider, you know, the wider little plastic container, and it was fresher, it was made in the store. I mean, you guys have been doing that for decades. Obviously, it hasn't run you guys into the ground yet, so I think just going back to that for the sake of quality and convenience, it would just solve a whole lot of problems right there, because 
this marinara sauce tastes good, but it's a bit watered down. And just trying to dip this in a very wide pizone into it proves to be quite difficult. If it was back in that old container and everything, there would be no problem whatsoever. So convenience-wise and in terms of accessibility, that is a big issue. And I just hope one day Pizza Hut will just go back to the old stuff. Maybe if enough people reach out and just explain, you know, their issues, who, who knows? Uh, but otherwise, it tastes good. And for the price, $6, I think it's, I think, you know, go for it. I'm, I'm glad they brought it back and I'm impressed by it for the most part, just except for that marinara sauce. It's the one thing that gets me. So out of 10, I'm going to be giving this an 8.0 out of 10 flat. Uh, and just that marinara sauce, though, it's so, it's so incredibly frustrating. That's, that's all I can say about it. That's all that I have for you. I'm your host, The Report of the Week. And uh, make sure you check out my podcast, youtube.com slash VORW podcast. You can also find it on Spotify and iTunes just by searching VORW. It's a really good show with some interesting perspective. Make sure you check it out. See you again in a few days with a new video.